Hey, it's Allison. I've been a math teacher for 15 years, and today I want to talk to you about slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is a standard form of writing the equation of a line, and it looks like this. y equals mx plus b. Now, in this equation, m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept. Now, all that really means is that B is the place where the line will cross or intercept the y-axis. So let's take a look. You can actually tell a lot by just looking at the equation of a line. Let's say we have a line that's y equals 5x plus 7. Because I know slope-intercept form, I can just look at the equation and tell that the slope of this line is 5 because 5 is what's multiplying my independent variable x. And the y-intercept is 7. That's this value here. That's the mx plus b. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have y equals 3, negative 3 halves x minus 4. It's the exact same thing. Even though we have negative values here, we don't need to worry about that. The slope is the value that's multiplying the independent variable x. So in this case, the slope, m, is negative 3 halves. Now, if you're a little confused about what the y-intercept is, don't forget we could rewrite this equation as y equals negative 3 halves x plus a negative 4. That means our y-intercept the b in the standard form of the equation is negative 4. So don't let the pluses and the minuses throw you off. If it's a negative value, if you're subtracting, that means your b is a negative number. Now, if you're given a slope and a y-intercept, you can immediately write down the equation of the line. So let's say that the slope is 7, and let's say that the y, I tell you that the y-intercept is negative 1 fourth. Using the standard form, y equals mx plus b, I can immediately write down the equation of this line. The equation of this line is y equals 7x plus negative 1 fourth. Or you can rewrite it as y equals 7x minus 1 fourth. So if you're given a slope and a y-intercept, you can write down the equation of a line and plot points and graph it. If, you've gi if you're given the equation of a line in slope-intercept form, you can just look at it and pick out the slope and the y-intercept right away. And that's slope-intercept form. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.